Thanks, Laurel. I told you she was awesome. So next up, uh, we've got the guys from GovHub. Now, when we talked to them the other day, they actually had thought about doing a wrap of their presentation, which I hope they had done, but you know, it's kind of hard to do on short notice. So we've got Greg Lind, John Miller, and Jared Brown talking about GovHub open source and open gov or government collaboration. Take it away, guys. Started. Yes. All right, no, go. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're uh, from GovHub Partners and a, and a new website. It's a collaboration hub for government and open source. Um, but to help us describe it better, um, we're going to act out, not rap, hopefully, um, a, a mock conversation as we see it happening now between government and open source. Um, so to kind of just quick go over what GovHub is, it's shared source repositories, um, regional APIs, and support for uh, government and open source developers. So introductions for this little skit. I'm Greg Land, I'll be the open source developer. And I'm the system analyst from the government. And I'm Jared Brown, I'm gonna be GovHub. So, okay, I've got three projects coming up and I need to acquire, but I've got a limited budget and no developers on staff. Uh, is there one place I can go to uh, find something that just works off the shelf and is operable with my system? You know, you should consider looking at open source, which uh, typically are built around, you know, accepted standards. GovHub's putting together a repository of such government-funded um, pro projects, and, you know, uh, if you have any requirements written down? That re re that re what's that? Uh, rather than cheap and should work, isn't it the programmer's job to figure out what our requirements are? I don't have time, and besides, I have no clue what you're talking about, man. Okay, okay. Well, we have wiki pages on how to write an RFP, and we have requirements documents based on the business needs you're probably trying to fulfill. Um, have you talked to any other government agencies? To well, see we talked to the doing? state, but they're using a proprietary system <clears throat> that really locks them into a long-term license deal, and I can't afford that. It'd be great if there was some place I could go to chat with other agencies to see what they're coming up with. <laughs> um. Well, you could take a look over here at our intergovernment discussion pages as well as our GitHub repositories with some great open source projects and uh, that are being managed through GovHub by some really great open source developers. So. Yeah. yeah, think of open source software as software for the people, by the people. Liberated, but not free software. It's very cool. Uh, speaking of cool, you should check out this great Drupal module that I just wrote. It aggregates all of your RSS feeds and puts it into a nice API so that you can then use it through Twitter and tweet the results. It's pretty cool. Whoa, droopy tweets. What are you, this is why I have a hard time with these hackers. Uh, uh, they want to solve everything with a Perl script, and then when something goes wrong, I can't find them. They go, they're going off working for Google, or I don't know. We understand. You know, open source projects do draw in attractive, intelligent people uh, who are often looking for new challenges. Uh, but you'd be surprised how many stick with their projects. Get, um, GovHub wants to help connect open source developers and civic and nonprofit projects that, that need them. Yeah, well, that sounds great, but you know, how do I get involved? I'd love to share my projects with government or nonprofit agencies, uh, but it's a lot of work to track down the RFPs from all of these different groups, and producing a response often takes more time than it does for me to code a project. Exactly. We're working on an RFP clearinghouse where developers can go and get the latest RFPs as well as templates on how to help create official responses. This should help developers as well as government agencies by increasing collaboration and competition. You know, I'm fine with that. I'd love to see more open source developers uh, respond to RFPs, but uh, that doesn't solve the issue of long-term uh, support. My boss has this perception that open source software has no intrinsic value. Hey, no intrinsic value. I got your intrinsic value okay, right okay, here. Okay, but. Okay. Uh, there's definitely a perception out there that uh, free software has no value because it's given away. Many people wonder how this can be economically sustainable. We're looking for ways to help projects obtain funding through grants, donation, and venture capital. Yeah, so there's a perception that open source developers are geeks that think in Haskell code and write software out of their basement. But uh, really what happens is they're usually companies that support open source projects, and a lot of developers have their own side projects of open source. 
Open source developers and government agencies often have many of the same goals. Finding way, new ways to collaborate on existing projects like Civic App Contest and expanding access to the data services like APIs just makes sense. So this is where GovHub wants to help. Um, as we've implied, we want to foster innovation through competitions much like the Civic Apps Contest, uh, help with uh, sharing open source and data, and help agencies with knowledge transfer on these systems. But the bottom line is we want to add value to the government. And, uh, this is how you can help. Go to govhubs.org, follow us on GovHub, um, sign into our, to our newsletter, and support open source projects. GovHub. Huh, cool. Thanks. Okay. Thank